Hi guys, my name's MJ. Welcome once again to Virtutoy's channel. Um, yeah, let's just go straight to it. So this round, I want to show you the uh, Hobby Japan, the EK9 release. Basically, in total, there are uh, how many? Four, twelve. Yeah, in total, there are actually twelve uh, variants. Basically, based on um, four main colors, the yellow, uh, which is called the sunlight yellow. Yeah, the sunlight yellow, and then there is the uh, starlight black pearl, and then what was this called? I can't remember. Vogue silver. Okay, and then the championship white. Yeah, I believe that's what it's called. Yes, championship white. So basically, based on these four colors, uh, yeah, there are three variants for each of the colors okay so of course uh yeah let's just go straight to it the iconic um sunlight yellow um this is actually the type r model so that is kind of um the type r logo on the base okay and, and on the car as well all right so packaging wise uh it's pretty much a standard very similar to tama and Eno. i think it's the same size as well Okay, um, so underneath is mainly in Japanese, so it's a collector's model, not a toy, not for 14 years old and below, and it's made in China. So, um, Hobby Japan, the final model car project. So, on the first look, right, this detail, uh, it does look, um, it does look like it's gonna to run up. Uh, it's gonna run up the ad. Uh, uh, was up the alley of Tamai you know. But I reckon, having seen the EG6, I think this is actually much more closer to the king of um 164, which is the TLVN series. Which uh you know I'll get to that a little later. But uh, in the meantime, let's just go straight to it. Let's take a much closer look at this yellow. So. These uh I don't I don't have all the 12 variants, but what I have here is the stock versions. Okay. These are pretty much a replica of the stock type R that was available back in the day. Alright. And um this yellow is definitely one of the more popular models. Okay. It's uh you know what? Let's do a very quick run through. Then next is the black. Right, we have the black right here, and um, yeah, I'm just gonna take it out and we'll check it out. Um, yeah, usually my auto favorite would be the yellow, um, that would definitely be my favorite. But I really do like all these uh, stock cars on that white type R wheels. Okay, that's actually very nice. Okay put this aside as well because what I want to do is um, I want to show you the colors this is a Vogue silver okay I want to show you the colors and then we'll take a much closer look at the white because I think the white kind of show more details you know we'll be able to see it through the camera much easier okay let's do that this is the silver okay so on the base is pretty standard it's it's uh nothing on nothing much going on there it's made in china there's a hobby japan logo yeah the base is pretty much um similar to the early days of tarmac okay and then coming to the uh, championship white okay let's just go straight to it as well okay this one's a little bit tight let's just get it out of the way we have the civic type r logo on the front and um yeah let's where's my screwdriver okay let's let's go straight to this one let's get it out so it's a little bit tight and uh, i don't think it's going to be a long screw based on past experience with the uh, gc8 subaru and also the um eg6 so i think they kind of screwed in maybe a little bit too tight there was a little bit of flat spot on the wheels but this one is actually not that bad compared to the eg6 there is another flat spot here it's really unfortunate but um yeah you can maybe roll it out later okay so there's a white one um definitely one of my favorite civics so yeah oh this one looks quite bad actually 
so flat, a flat spot. That's very bad. Okay, so the Civic Type R logo here actually does look really good. Okay, and then there's the uh, the bucket seats, the standard red bucket seats. There's some slight details uh, on the interior, on the dashboard. That's quite nice. Um, the side mirrors has the uh, reflective film. Okay, and then up front, the lights are separate piece. Um, they are not painted or printed on, so it does look quite realistic. I do like the bumpers and the Civic Type R logo on the number plates. The uh, the wiper, okay, it's one piece with the windscreen. All right. There is the uh, Renda, ah, uh, Renda, <laughs> it's a red Honda logo, yes, so that's the Type R, okay, let it just, there you go, okay, it's really very white, so that's why it goes to the exposure, overexposed, the petrol filler cap, um, that is actually pretty obvious, um, I think the amount of paint is just nice that it does not cover the door gaps okay I like that gap between the body and the uh, the bumper it makes it very realistic all right at the back I quite like the tail lights it looks quite realistic as well and then there's the red Honda badge again at the back okay so basically the uh, in between the standard version and the fully customized version there's one in between um, which I did not get and uh, that is pretty much in a white um, full championship white body but it has a different um, set of wheels set of rims uh, from pictures what I see is uh, it, they call it sports wheels so what I can see is actually these wheels okay it's actually these wheels but uh, in white so um, yeah I've decided to, we've decided to actually skip that. Okay, so this is um, the championship white EK9. Oh, damn. Yeah, this one is completely stuck. Oh, man. This is a little bit disappointing because I kind of was expecting them to be really comp competing with the uh, TLVN. TLVN does it um, so-called two scale and yeah the wheels are able to roll but you know, mine is not gonna roll today I'm just trying to loosen it up a little bit it seems to be the rubber seems to be rub rubbing on the uh, on the body and um, that kind of, just kind of makes it stuck unfortunately that's a little bit of a letdown Anyway, but still, overall, it does look pretty decent. Okay, let's go to the uh, customized version. So, yeah. Okay, you know what? Let's let's just go dive right into it. So this is the uh, sunlight yellow. Easily, this would be my first choice. I really like the black carbon hood. Not black carbon hood. It is actually carbon fiber. It has the uh, carbon fiber texture. So I think that is actually really very nice right then I just a plain um black hood there you go so once I zoom it in you can see the full details of the carbon fiber texture so interior wise it does look really very similar to the uh, the stock version over there okay so it does look really very similar the back wing the standard one is in um, same color with the body, but uh, for the customized ones, they are all in black. So a black carbon hood matching with the black wing. All right. So color wise, it does look quite authentic. I think this is maybe as close as we can get to the actual type R yellow. Yeah. If they use the real name of the uh, the, the variant color right am I right to assume that this is pretty much the actual color 
the, the in the same you know Pantone color as as the real thing. Am I right to assume that it does look like it? Okay, so the yellow definitely yeah, just saw me ogling at the yellow because I think that is the sexy one, and um of course this would be the other one that I really like. Um, one of the main reason is because it's black okay and and they didn't take the shortcut it's a black car with the carbon fiber hood oh that is nice on gold reels oh check that out Look at that. Damn, this look really very nice. This look very nice. Okay, because um I'll I'll go I'll move on. I'll move on because I want to do the white color comparison actually. I'm I'm kind of interested in that. Um to compare the uh the customized version and the stock version. Yeah. But uh let's check out the silver before we go to the white. So again, I really like how the black hood and the black spoiler, that detail is actually very nice. I quite like how Japan picked that up. Picked this um, combination. Everything does look to scale though, if you ask me. Nice. You can see the uh, Type R logo at the back. Sharp and crisp. Let it zoom in. Yeah, there you go. There you go. That's very nice. Very, very nice. Okay, and here we go. So do remember to hit the subscribe button, right? Um, I'm trying to hit 1k followers, so I'm not that far along. Please do hit the subscribe button. Okay, and then um, here we go. This is the white. You know what? Let's let's just get it out of the base. Um. Remember to follow my, my um, Instagram as well. Um, that's where usually I will upload all my photographs there. Okay, it's virtutoys.mj. Okay, this is the sticky one. Ugh. All right, I got it out. Yeah, so most of these um, Hobby Japan models will have a sticky wheel. Okay. Oh. The combination of this is actually really very nice on that gold. Is it tea? I don't know if it's tea. Let me know if it's tea. Let me know if you do know what's the name of these wheels. I I, I don't know. I, I'm not exactly a, a rim guy. So please do let me know. Alright. So the flat spot is actually quite obvious. Um, Let's check out underneath. It's screwed revert. There's some details. Uh, underneath as well the detail muffler that is actually very nice okay and then we have the um, side mirror okay so the side mirror is it different or just painted in a different color it does look a little different let's see what it looks like from the front yeah so the 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 uh, excuse me Okay, you know what, it's not zooming properly. So the modified version does have a smaller side mirror. So I guess it's for, you know, being more aerodynamic compared to the stock version. Um, Bumper-wise, it does look very similar, but the lip, the front lip does look a little bit more obvious on the customized version. Mm. But overall, the details are actually very, very similar. Um, Interior-wise, both red seats look the same from the side. I don't see any obvious difference. Okay, um, even on the spoiler, you know what, let's just grab it. Grab it with one hand, then I can point with the other. So the stock version has the uh, slightly higher... Higher downforce setting on the wing compared to the modified version. So that does look like it's uh, slightly lower. 
slope, um, less drag, I guess. Okay, it definitely does look like it's lower. Okay, at the back, let's check out the back. On the EG6, we did notice um, there is a difference in the mufflers, the exhaust, but uh, it does look similar on this. Okay, yep, just knocked my wheels off. Okay, so on this, the muffler does look the same at the back. Yeah, pretty much, they are very, very similar. I don't see any difference there. So, yeah, um, me, I think the stock EG6 does look a little boring um, compared to this because I think that that is really the standard version while Hobby Japan decided to make the uh, Type R of the EK9 instead of the pure standard one and then make a customized version of the uh, type r which i think is quite nicely done nice nice okay and uh let's just do yeah this one oh, oh. it does roll but pretty much you see if i don't press it down if i don't press it down it's pretty much stuck so it doesn't roll that well compared to the uh, the EG6. Um, do check out my EG6 video, right? I've uh, it, it's actually in my channel, so you click into my channel. I will link it up in the description box as well. And um, the bonus content for this round is this is what I have here. Because the price point is actually very close to TLVN, so I thought let's just do a comparison um, straight off. So I've got it out of the box already. This is actually the box. Um, yeah, so Hobby Japan comes in the sleeve and acrylic display case, while TLVN comes in a box, okay, and the uh, the plastic holder like that, all right. And there's a car, and of course this one, one of the most obvious thing is that this one rolls very very well, okay. It's something that um TLVN has done excellent. Over the years, um, I don't see anyone else that's really you know anything close to them. I thought that Hobby Japan would be close with the uh, the EK sorry the EG6, but uh, yeah, apparently for the EK9 they are not that close. Anyway, let's do a very quick comparison. Let's start up front. So both are using different bumpers. Um, yeah. So this is the part where I'm not sure which is the accurate one for the Type R. If you do know, please, you know, let me know in the comment section below. Okay, size-wise, they are actually very, very close to each other. Let's see. Let me just place it down here and, and take a closer look at them. They are actually very... I'm actually checking them out from the top. Um... They are actually very close to each other. Uh, however, the Hobby Japan does look slightly wider. Slightly wider. The length does look the same. But yeah, now that I, you know, I put it next to each other, then <laughs> the Hobby Japan looks, looks really very wide. Hmm. Okay. And uh, let's take side view i think the side mirror it's very close as well it is actually very close okay from the side so hobby japan went with the bigger wheels i guess that that is one of the reason why it's stuck to the body and i can't roll it the white there is a slight difference in the white as well i'm not sure is it because of um I've had this white uh, TLVN for some time now and this just came out so I'm not sure it's because of aging. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure. Okay, um, one point I left out, I want to, yeah, um, if you see the headlamps on the TLVN, it's definitely clearer than the Hobby Japan. Okay, that's points for TLVN. So on the side, I think they're quite equally matched, but it does look like TLVN has the Type R logo much clearer than the Hobby Japan, but they are very, very closely 
similar on the wheels um there is the honda logo yeah on both okay the hobby japan has the honda logo as well and then at the back i want to compare the brake lights uh this is the part where i think hobby japan pulled off a much better um result because you see you can see where i believe that's the holder for the brake lights and this one i if i'm not mistaken they are just um directly sticked onto the body of the car okay and um here this is actually a plastic part okay that's the bonnet right and this is done in metal the honda logo oh yeah that's the other thing let's see is this printed on yeah because the no this is not printed on i'm just testing it out because the back does look like it's printed on i don't feel any much texture on it because this one is not printed on this is actually i, I can't recall what you call it metal decal yeah i think it's called metal decal just a quick look underneath man these these wheels are really skinny anyway yeah the hobby japan wants this look slightly bigger wider and just slightly longer mm. nice but still i think the hobby japan is good to have because of the modified versions i do like that the tlvn has a much more obvious um carbon fiber texture but i kind of think a closer weave weave on the hobby japan that kind of looks a little bit more realistic i think okay you know what let, let hold on hold on hold on let me just zoom so that you guys can see it a little bit clearer yeah i kind of prefer the hobby japan version of the carbon fiber but uh, let me know what you think i do like i, I do like the customized version actually mm. all right so that's it for now if you ask me i think i would collect the yellow stock the white maybe the black and all the customized version <laughs> i think it's it's still a very very good effort from um hobby japan yeah I, I think it's really a very good effort um but i think i still see there are spaces where you know they can improve and hopefully they do and um yeah do look forward to the rest of the uh, upcoming hobby japan releases so as usual uh i will be taking close-up photos of these guys and put them on my instagram um remember to follow me there virtutoys.mj Remember to hit the subscribe button and also hit the bell so you don't you don't miss on any of my awesome diecast videos. Alright. So thank you very much for watching guys. Bye.